I figure eventually these intro dialogues are going to be a bit shorter and shorter until they, they, they... I figured they'd go away eventually at some point. Anyway, uh, yeah. hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play One Shot. I am your host, Melee Wizard, and with our... Our library card, we now have access to the archive area. And, well, there's the phone. Why, yes. It took us a while to actually get to meet you. By the brilliant and intelligent head of Librarian George, beholder of all knowledge, believe you're supposed to go in the tower. Right, yes. And where's that? Going beyond that small entrance room acquires ancient, forbidden knowledge that eludes even George. But fear not. If that knowledge happens to be recorded in some cryptic tome in a long dead language, hint, hint, hint. <laughs> I saw something there. Another fruitful visit to the great prophet today. She seemed high in high in spirits. She told me she saw another glimpse of the Messiah's arrival, more vivid than ever before. The Messiah will wake up in a dark house. She said the vision included lights from a window and the sound of footsteps on wood floor. Regrettably, she is unsure of the house's location. Rashis, I don't know, was also present at the meeting. I ended up visiting his house later, and we swapped notes. He has been very vigilant on recording the Prophet's day-to-day -day musings, and his writing has been significantly more legible lately. His children were endearing as ever. The older child, Calamus, has expressed an interest in reading. I offered to teach him as I did his father. Another still life of some objects on my desk. Cool. Uh -huh. Although its pigmentation is primarily black, the leaves display incredible iridescence when exposed to sunlight. These curious plants are most resilient and can even thrive in the metallic sand and harsh climate of the barrens. In the glen, it can also grow directly on top of the moss layer without competing with the moss for resources. Radiocarbon dating of fossils suggest that these plants may be the first life forms to colonize our world. Neat. Oh, thankfully, Dr. Silverpoint's team was able to replicate our prototype. On the right is an updated sketch of some of the modifications of the external design. More importantly, we used a radically different architecture for the microprocessor due to limited resources this time, but it still should be capable of delivering the late prophet's message. The team suggested that taming was a lost cause. <laughs> It's basically the author's signature, or some such. Right. <laughs> Everything. All right, of course. Uh... by no less than the most ancient... Wait a minute. This isn't ancient at all. But it's written in a dead language, nevertheless. It's time 
for me to unleash my brilliance. For George, me, possessor of at least one PhD, you're not even going more specific on that, shall translate this. This will take some time, however. room is in the attic down the hall. Okay. <laughs> Even the painting is books. Well, at, at least George remembers to eat. She deeply believed in the multiverse theory. Regarding alternate versions, she likened the probability to the rolling of dice. Recently, I found that theory easier and easier to believe, but I could not describe it very well back then. Nevertheless, I still wrote it to the best of my abilities. After all, it felt only right to honor her this way. There are six. Which one do you encounter? And I got an achievement. For a bookworm, I guess, for reading everything. And, yep, that closed the game. So let's just go ahead and... <laughs> and I tried to... start the game up too soon, as Steam was still syncing things up. Oh dear. That was... That has implications. Aha! Greetings, Sean. If you can finally read this, that means you are near the tower. The tower is the domain of an elusive entity. This being is connected to the world. For now, you can think of it as the spirit of the world. It has no physical form, but it can communicate through computers and other machinery. Uh -huh. You know who I am talking about, of course. When you first arrived here with our savior, it no doubt contacted you right away. Through its own means, the entity will guide the both of you to the tower. The entry room is at the tower's base. Not only do you need the sun there, but also three pieces of the previous sun. Huh. The savior will not be able to do anything there. You, Sean, on the other hand. Look at the pattern on the floor. Do as it says. The window will be gone, so you need to bring it back. Need items containing yellow phosphor, the rarest of the phosphors, said to absorb sunlight for the longest time and never fade out. Aha. The face of knowledge.
small room at the base of the tower. Oh boy. Things are getting meta again. get you something to eat. Goodness knows, it's been... What? At least a couple weeks? At least from my perspective? We don't know about that part yet. And I got an achievement for that. Nice. Feels weird that it's taken this long for me to start getting achievements, but oh well. Uh, has anything changed on this front? No. Uh, trying to remember where the did I did we even get to the tower? I don't even. I don't even remember. Maybe it was near the back alley or something? I should have seen the tower by now, but... That's you again. 
again. Okay, that was that's the library. Oh dear. Where was the tower? Did I ever actually see it? Because it's not in my fast travel list. lead to again? Okay, that's there. Okay. Something about a window or something? I think it's... Yep! I closed the window and it didn't prompt me to save the game this time. So if I open the game now, what happens? Aha! Yeah, the sun's gone. I've been cut off! Uh oh, that's... that's not good. I'm still in control though. Oh boy, all my... all her items are gone. Hello, Nico. Congratulations. You are now inside the tower. Yep. I noted I noticed the distinction there. I had to resort to contact What do you mean I already Oh boy. John has already finished their mission. And so have you, Nico. Uh, we, we were we were here for a reason.
This feel this uh Pop up window. And as for you, Sean, we're done here. Please don't return to this world anymore. Right. Um, if you think I'm going to follow that particular instruction, you've got another thing coming. Uh oh. Okay. Uh, my background, my desktop background changed again. Uh, there's a letter. This is not over. Regardless of what the entity told you, there is more to the story. Documents, my games, one shot. Look for this symbol, which is a clover. Once it is active, please relaunch the game. See you soon. Well, um, that is a thing, and I, let me see, there's a readme file attached to this, never mind, it's just the, it's just the, it's just your standard readme, uh-huh, yep, there is a file here, it has no name, it's all, uh, you can actually see this. Never mind. <laughs> uh, right. I seem to recall something that looks like this in the game file within the games files too. But I guess this is a more convenient spot for it. I had tried running that before by itself, but it didn't do any. It, it a window popped up, but that was about it. I guess there's a bit more significance to it now. I don't know what, what's going to happen from this, and the video is going to be a little bit short because of this, but I think I'm going to end things off here. So, I guess, join me next time when we see, uh, let's see what happens next. So, until then, this is Melee Wizard, and have a nice day.